Hi, I'm Bob Jonkman, and I'm the Green Party candidate for Brantford Branch. <laughs> First time I've been able to say that. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. Um, after moving to Canada, I went to McMaster University, where I, I studied physics. Um, got distracted by the campus radio station. time at the Hamilton Public Library working as an AV technician, set up my own business 32 years ago now. Um, so back my computer service, providing technical support and uh, systems administration to small and, and large companies. My first election was in uh, 2015. I'd just come off a big contract with Toronto Hydro and um, was actually asked through David Weaver, who had recommended me, to, uh, to run as the Green Party candidate in Kitchener, Conestoga. So that was quite an interesting and, and completely new thing to me. And during the election campaign, I learned some of the issues that were affecting the, the citizens of Kitchener Conestoga. And poverty seemed to float to the surface. There were a number of anti-poverty organizations in Kitchener and Waterloo. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I thought, this is where my, my volunteer efforts would be focused after the election. Well, it turns out, that someone else called me in to a symposium for, uh, for peace and social justice groups, uh, where we ended up forming uh, an organization called KW Peace, an umbrella organization of many social justice groups, uh, peace, um, anti-violence groups, um, and environmental groups as well, for which I now run their website and their calendar. And from there, I branched into uh, doing um, a weekly meeting with Waterloo Region Nonviolence, a, a group that uh, demonstrates nonviolence um, in, in your own life. And if everyone were to practice nonviolence, we would have peace. Peace is the outcome of, of nonviolence. Put on a festival every year at uh, Victoria Park Island, which I intend to participate in again this year as, a, as an organizer. And as things come full circle, uh, just last year, one of the uh, other Green Party candidates, Kevin Hebert, from, uh, who's in Cambridge, and uh, I think on, on your board, um, asked me to come to the uh, CKMS radio station annual general meeting where I got promptly elected to the board, um, ended up uh, working with a show called uh, CKMS Community Connections, where just this past Monday I had the opportunity to interview Senator Kim Pate uh, about the uh, prison system and incarceration. So the whole thing seems to have uh, converged nicely. Uh, my initial interest in starting out the radio station have, have come back and uh, get to incorporate social justice activities while I'm doing that. I'm coming in from, from Elmira, which is you know, uh, uh, out of town, not part of Brantford Branch. But the, the areas between Brantford and, and uh, Elmira, Kitchener, Conestoga, the riding where I ran for the two previous elections, they're very, very similar. And they've got um, an urban core in Waterloo region, in Kitchener and Waterloo, so uh, urban centers. And around that, uh, three rural townships, Little Mont Wellesley and Woolwich. Horse Dumfries is there as well, but that's part of the kitchen of South Hesper variety. And Brantford uh, Brant is very, very similar. We've got the urban core in Brantford and Brant County completely surrounding it. So I'm familiar with some of the urban issues that, uh, that exist in the kitchen of Conestoga. I'm familiar with some of the um, rural issues, uh, urban issues as, as well. So it shouldn't be drastically different in Brantford Brant uh, than it is in the kitchen of Conestoga as well. The uh, political climate here is that you've got uh, conservative members of both the provincial parliament and the federal parliament, which is exactly the same situation we find ourselves in in Kitchener Conestoga. So I understand the challenges that we're going to have in overcoming that, that blue idea and replacing it with some green ideas. <laughs> the, the two candidates seem to be well liked. They, uh, they won their elections, uh, not necessarily with the majority, that's uh, courtesy of our first past the post system, but they won with. Uh, with a fair, fairly large plurality. And that means that uh, in order to appeal to the voters that we have in Brand for Brand, we need to talk their language essentially. We need to be um, financially responsible for it now, which is what a lot of uh, blue candidates uh, will, um, will express their interest in. But largely, I, I like to think of myself as um, a social justice warrior. Uh, it's uh, considered to be um, a derogatory term, but I wear, I wear that, and I'm proud to be a social justice lawyer. I worry about things like uh, poverty and having a, a guaranteed livable income to overcome that. I worry about housing and creating a national housing strategy to help out with, uh, with housing policies. 
uh, having universal pharmacare, uh, having uh, transit, electrification of the grid, and most importantly, looking at the issues of, of climate change and the environment. Uh, just last week, uh, the Green Party released Mission Possible, a 20-step plan to actually enact climate change policies that will fix the problem, or not fix the problem, but at least mitigate it by limiting our global uh, warming to uh, one and a half degrees over the next 20 years or so. That is the most urgent thing, and global warming is just that. It is a global issue. It's going to be the same in Kitchen of Conestoga if we don't to be in uh, Grand for Grant. So all those issues there, um, I believe, are fairly similar in, in, in both areas. And so I, I think that I'll be able to do a good job in representing you uh, for the Grand for Grant area. Ingrid mentioned that um, I've been involved in politics since 2007 with their uh, with vote. Um, actually got my, my trigger for that much, much earlier. I, uh, I come from Holland. I'm a Dutch citizen, or was a Dutch citizen, and got my Canadian citizenship uh, in about 1991 or so. And during the citizenship um, interview, during the ceremony, I was asked, who's the Governor General of Canada in 1991? And I asked, you know, why is that important? And the citizenship judge said to me, the purpose for becoming a citizen is to become politically engaged. And that stuck with me. I didn't actually act on that for another, what, 20 years or so. But I knew the answer. It was very inattention. Um, so I got to be a citizen. <laughs> and here I am now running for political office because I took those words to heart. I, I believe that citizens need to be politically engaged. And, and so here I am. The thing that actually got me working in politics was electoral reform. It was the 2007 uh, referendum for Ontario to change the first past the post system. That is probably the most important issue that could be resolved because once we have fair representation, once every vote counts, once everybody gets some representation in parliament or in, in the uh, provincial legislatures, those voices can then work together to make all the other changes to get guaranteed livable income, to get farm care, to get uh, housing policies, and to make some changes for global climate. To, uh, to enact global climate policies that will actually reduce our uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Adjectives are being used to describe the Green Party, you know, sometimes as, as um, the, the far-left liberals, or a progressive party, or a radical party. Now, I'd like to add an adjective to that. I'd like the Green Party to be the responsible party. And that's what I aim to do in the upcoming election. Thank you very much.